We're drinking. <sighs> you know, huh, huh, huh. so <sighs> your <laughs> your parents decided that I have the humor of a twelve of a no eleven. Year old. Eleven, yeah. You're giving yourself too much credit for twelve. <laughs> and then I found out last night, like one of my best friends forever, right? His kids, they're nine years old. They're watching this show. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Do they understand what the beeps mean? <laughs> Hope not! Alright. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire's back. Nah, it's All right, just fun. So. It's just a fun thing to do. Hello! We have uh, Jeremy Spooner requested this. Do I? You say that like I, I should know who that is. Well, Jeremy Spooner and like four or five other people said you should try Jura. Well, we love Jura, so it's not hard to twist our arm. Yeah, like no, that. this is one of the earlier whiskeys I ever had. Yes, that's true. And uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Smell that, and tell me there's not a weird, like, funky cheese smell all of a sudden. Did it do something weird in the bottle because it's so empty? No. I think I'm just not used to after following bourbon and coming back to this. No, it was we, freaking me out. We. Came fresh off the heels of some of the friendliest whiskeys. Uh, it was a Compass Box blend. It was Isila. So, yeah, I still have some. Yeah, and then there was a Swedish thing, which just wow, can't There is sleep. a s funk. <laughs> and I love Jura. I've never smelled this in a Jura before. I feel like we should cleanse our palate with, you know what, the default setting. Don't, don't try it. You'll ruin it. Don't try no, it. No, 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 no. The default setting. We need some Lagavulin. <laughs> we get some Lagavulin up here, and that'll cleanse the palate. No, that'll overrun the Jura. Shh. We'll never be able to come back from that. No, we can, because you're getting funk. This is going to go so far in the funk direction. No, I figured out what the funk was while you were mumbling incoherently to yourself over <laughs> the <laughs> uh, When I was making a mash of all peated barley right. at my house, Totally legally. Totally legal, because you can make mash all day long, no big deal. It's delicious. It's just a giant pot of porridge, basically. Delicious. It smelled like this. Mm. Like uh, boiling porridge with a slightly burnt note to it. Yeah, man. I'm getting a lot more old, old dusty leather on this than I ever remember, uh, remember yeah. getting before. Yeah, me too. And dusty leather is the right word for it. Hmm. Yeah, I like this. What do you think? We have a guest. Yeah. He's not giving us a laugh track like Tom Grimes did. No, <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, all right. Approve. We have to push the button. I yeah. approve. Laugh now. Yeah, we'll have a little sign over here that blinks. It says <laughs> laugh. Or else people will realize we're not that funny. Yeah, we can't let that happen. Uh, so Jura has... Now, here's the thing, though. Like, in honesty, uh, the bar for the whiskey tasting review scene on YouTube, yeah. it's set so low. It's really low. <laughs> so we show up and say something even halfway funny, and it's just the most amazing thing that ever happened. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, Jura has Superstition, which is lightly peated, which is what we're drinking. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, there's no age statement on this one. Jura has the tin, Origin. It's called Origin. Um, that's 10 years old. It has um, Durek's own. Because the people of Jura are known as Durek. It's the name of the tribe, kind of their clan. So, um, is this the same base whiskey that's doing just a few yeah, variations? Okay. Basically. Uh, there, some of them are being peated or being distilled slightly differently or smoked, not smoked. But they're all using the same, it's all the same stuff. Same. There's only one distiller in the island. Right. The island is only three by seven miles or something like that. All right. At what point are you going to start bringing out all these bottles? Or 30 miles. And stop talking about them. I can get them. I can find them. You know what that's happening? I'm doing that. Oh, you already have one. Yeah, Jura has one pub, one road, and one distillery. Jura is an island with only one road. I don't know makes, it makes directions really easy. I don't know if it's going to fit. No, it's really not going to fit. There we go. Okay, so we've got the Origin 10, and we've got Jurek's own 16-year-old version. Okay, let's compare. All right. Do I need that many more glasses? Yes. Jeez. Sorry, Tommy. Do you want one too? <laughs> yes, please. Is that, is that a trick question? <laughs> what the hell? All right. All right. I'm gonna so, lose track of what. Starting, I know, that's why you gotta keep them in some kind of order. Oh, no, no, no! What, what, Guess what, what's about what? to happen? Oh, pelts. I'm about to add to the Mooch necklace. Is there a stapler anywhere? We haven't opened to this yet. We need a stapler. It's in my office. I can wait. No, no. Staple, that's, 
Not a sky. What is it? Was it masking tape? What, come on. What are you doing? The quality is a stapler. That's how you know it's craftsmanship. I'm trying to make the. Oh, it came apart. It didn't matter, man. I mean, you All just right. strap that shit on there and it looks amazing. There you go. Yeah. All right. You just strap that shit on there. <laughs> okay, this is the tin. Mm hmm. Wait. That's the tin. Superstition, tin. And 16 year old Jurek's own. I don't want to say that the word is hard to say. Jurek. No, I'm not doing it. Jurek. Nope. Jurek. Nope. Jurek. No, you Jurek. Jurek. I don't want a Jurek. You Jurek. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so I'm doing the second one you did. Oh, none of that funk is in the tin. Nope. So that superstition so, has some it's, it's sweeter, leather. Sweeter and friendlier here. Oh, that's just pretty. That's not even. That's closer to like the no, Dalmar category. That tastes a lot prettier than I was expecting based on the smell. Now the superstition, a lot more interesting. Old dusty leather, interesting with funk. Yeah, pepper, buttered toast. Mm. They said mm. again, knowing our audience. Mm -hmm. We say the superstition is more interesting. If you are new and getting into whiskey, start with a ten. Start with a ten. It's friendlier, it's not gonna taste like weird cheese or campfires or anything <laughs> yeah. like that. Where does the 16 come in? Let's find out. Yeah. Jurek. You're a jerk. <laughs> you are. Your face. That, why does that, here's the thing. Well, that got even friendlier. It's, it's. And it got fruity. Yeah, it's like similar. Plum. It's similar to friendliness as the 10. Yeah, but it's more plum notes. Anyways, the thing that's... Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell those apart in a glass. The thing that's not like the others in this is the superstition. Yeah, the superstition stands alone. Yeah. If you know what I mean. These are both um, friendly, Very sweet, fruity. Very superstition. Riding's on the wall. You done? <clears throat> I have a beautiful voice. Like a songbird. Don't keep going. No, I do. See? Now that you're putting me on the spot, I lost all confidence. Sing really good, Daniel. <laughs> Sing really good. Uh, I can't do it. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim charoo. That's all that popped into my head just now. <laughs> There's just a few things that I'd like to do. So between the 10 and the 16, what do you prefer? Because I'll tell you, I'm leaning towards the 10. You know what, man? It's pretty close to a wash for me. Those, I, I would have a hard time telling those apart. Yeah. I don't know that I could tell those apart. I don't know that I could either. There's about a 10 to 15. I mean, I went back and forth just now. Right. I can't tell them apart. I think they just wanted to come up with <laughs> with another label. Yeah, it's so smooth. There's no complexity. Whereas the superstition is extremely complex. If I had to choose, I would say I like the 10 better. Then the superstition? No, no, no. Between, oh, oh, oh. oh. No, I vote 10 immediately. Between the uh, And I would say Jeremy asked us what he bought a bottle, and he's wondering what we thought. What, I, what we think is, you probably picked the best Jura. Superstition? Yeah. Now there's another one we have up here called the Brooklyn. Um, but it's not as good. I, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan. There's another Jura? Yeah. That's not here? That's not here. Why? This is a comprehensive Jura review. I have no explanation. This <laughs> is an incomplete episode until we experience all the Jura. Is this coming from the mooch with the necklace? Wait a minute, is this why you... Is this happening because you can't reach it? Is that... You know what? Come on, buddy. I can help you out. Just point. Just point to what you want. I got your back. I like that that was said in such a spirit of concern. <laughs> like, you transitioned from asshole to, like, really caring right. for a moment, but being insulting at the same time. So while you climb up there... <laughs> Kate Van Name! I've got a step stool. <laughs> Flavor finishing of bourbons, for me, is far more satisfying than finishing of scotch. Lots of bias here. Why in God's name would you fuel, would you fool with delicious end result, with the delicious end result of scotch? I did a tasting the other day with six finished scotches, all brands I love. And I walked away saying, meh. There went $700 down the drain. Not literally, because even bad scotch beats a good bourbon. Oh, 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 oh yeah. gauntlet thrown. <laughs> Keep that name, bring in the heat. <laughs> uh, bourbon, on the other hand. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> I had backwards. Do I need another thing? Go get it. I'll get another glass. Yeah, Keep yeah, reading. Yeah. Uh, but I digress. Bourbon, on the other hand, in my honest opinion, requires some finishing. Take the Bellmead Sherry Cask or Madeira Cask. 
Those are incredibly delicious bourbons, and the finishing makes them far superior to their non-finished counterparts. Of course, this is only my opinion, and not even shared within my own household. It is now. Oh, wait. Oh, they don't agree. I thought you meant they didn't know. Good job, guys. It's just fun to look up Jura, Brooklyn. Good job, guys. I'm going to pick up the Glen Morangi 12-year, 10-year sherry and 12-year port because it did seem like an important trio tasting to compare and appreciate. Yeah, it definitely is. There's no question. Right. Um, now, I'm mm -hmm. having Peter mm -hmm. look up what, the Brook was, what makes the Brooklyn special because I forgot to look it up. Ooh, now that is smokier, and uh, it does smell smokier. It also smells more phenol, kind of uh, medicinal at the same time. Yeah, I like get that. iodine. Mm -hmm. Hey, a butterfly went by just now. Yeah, I saw. And you know what that means? I in the Lord of the Rings, that means the eagles are not far behind. <laughs> you have it. I saw the eagle. I have peripheral vision. Right? You, you saw that you mean the butterfly. Right. <laughs> Whatever, Jura drunk. <laughs> <laughs> really not. <laughs> I, saw, I have self-discipline though, so I didn't interrupt. This is the flow wonderful of the show. education. Ooh, that's punchy. More so than the Jura. Yeah, out of superstition, you mean? Yeah. Yes. As far as like a spearhead. Yep. But it's not as complex as the superstition. Yeah, it doesn't have um, the weird, funky, it's, dusty leather notes. Yeah. But still, it has... no matter what, the superstition for complexity. So I like that Jura has two. Friendlier, int sweeter, entry, -er, uh, entry level whiskeys, mm -hmm. and then it has some more complicated, smokier whiskeys. Yeah, me too. So you got the gateways, and you got the things that'll smack you around and treat you naughty. And when you have a one island with only one road, yeah, and one pub, yeah, and a distillery, mm -hmm. and less than three hundred people on the whole island, yeah, that sounds pretty impressive. I don't know why that's impressive. Explain just, to me why. This well, because there's just no one there. There's like there's a whole island, and all they do is distill. Right. It turns out. And maybe a few of them have some sheep or something. It sounds like the dream. Yeah, living the dream. If that's yeah, all they I had to do. There's 5,000 red deer on Jura Why and do you only know? 300 people. Why do you know these things? Because I'm a nerd. So there's good hunting on Jura. Have you ever been hunting? Yeah. I've never been hunting. Really? Yeah. Now of any kind. Bird, deer, doesn't matter. I shot at birds with BB guns. Yeah, that's not that's right. That's not, it didn't count. No. Peter helped me out by lending me his phone. It turns out what makes it Brooklyn is they partnered with a whole bunch of Brooklyn food institutions, like uh, chefs and famous people in Brooklyn. Yeah. They, uh, they picked six casks, purchased six casks of Jura, mm -hmm. and then they selected what would be this release. Hmm. So it's like a compilation release between yeah. Jura and Brooklyn. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. From the growing foodie, and what I know about the Brooklyn food movement is come coming from a, what's his name with the food show that I fell in love with? Uh, uh no, 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 um, parts of Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Parts yeah, of I'm kind of addicted to Anthony so, Bourdain. So something you didn't print out, which I think is worthwhile here. Oh yeah, yeah. Appetino, uh, you were saying you're you one of the best mooch stories. Oh no, no, I've collected like three pages of mooch stories, and I didn't bring any of those because I wanted to keep them a separate mooch thing. Why? Why is this wrong with you? So many things. What is wrong with you? So many things. We haven't yet decided how to give that whiskey away. By I way. feel like the best way to spread this whiskey love is to give it to a subscriber and fan who could mingle and see y'all personally. Off the top of my head, I don't know. Maybe a local. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if he lives locally. Not only do you save on shipping, but you could hang out and share some mutual goodies. And it so happens to be that I am local. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I, would be will I would be willing to drink this generous pour for the community. Ah, uh, yeah. Take one for the team. I would be willing to offer myself up as tribute. <laughs> I, I, can be, I can be there by this week. Yeah. Thank you, Appetino. I think he's in the running. Yeah, yeah. We've got... I only collected the really good mood stories and some that were funny because... Oh, my favorite one. There's a guy who he sent his mom to Kentucky, mm -hmm. and he said, get me something really special that I can't get anywhere else. Right. And she came back with uh, a white dog whiskey, an unaged moonshine, because <laughs> it was a special release. <laughs> and so of all the amazing bourbons he could have gotten, she brought back a moonshine, moonshine. for him. Mm. It's like the most anti-mooch of all time. <laughs> it's, he tried so yeah. hard to mooch. That's like your, your grandparents buying you a video game. Right when you're a kid, and it's it has like the picture of the one you really wanted, like the name of the guy, but it's not <laughs> like oh thanks. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Well, I still think we landed on out of all four of these, 
Superstition wins the day. Yeah, and it was my first Jura, and it's still my favorite. Till tomorrow, I'm here. Crazy say this side of legal. May you return before we have time to miss you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.